In this video we will discuss the mechanism of action of digoxin. Before proceeding to the topic, please watch the videos on cardiac muscle structural organization and molecular basis of cardiac muscle contraction. The links to the video are given in the description. Let's move on to the topic. First let's see what are the actions of digoxin. Then we will discuss the mechanism of action. The two main actions of digoxin are, positive ionotropic effect. That is it increases the force of contraction of the heart. Second action is negative chronotropic effect. That is, it decreases the heart rate. Let's see the mechanism behind these actions. Let's draw a cardiac muscle fiber. The cell membrane of cardiac muscle fiber is called sacrolemma, and the cytoplasm is called sarcoplasm, which contains nucleus, mitochondria, and sarcoplasmic reticulum. These are openings of T-tubules, which we will discuss later in the video. Each muscle fiber contains many myofibrils lying parallel to each other. Let's see about each myofibrils. It has thin and thick filaments called myofilaments. These are contractile proteins. The thin filament is called actin, and the thick filaments are called myosin. The portion of myofibril between two Z lines are called sarcomere. At the Z line, the sarcolemma invaginates to form transverse tubules or T tubules. The longitudinal sarcoplasmic reticulum or L tubule run along the myofibrils. They do not open to exterior as T tubules. The ends of L tubule on either side of T tubule are dilated to form terminal cisterns. The T tubule contains voltage gated calcium channels. And L tubules also contains voltage gated calcium channels. L tubules also has ATP mediated calcium pump to pump the sarcoplasmic calcium back inside L tubule. The sarcolemma also has other channels like ATP mediated calcium pump which pumps calcium out into extracellular fluid. Sodium potassium AT pace pump. It pumps three sodium ions out and two potassium ions in against the concentration gradient. Sodium calcium exchanger, which allows three sodium ions in and one calcium ion out along the concentration gradient. That is the sodium ions which are in high concentration in the extracellular fluid moves inside for exchange of one calcium ion. T tubules contains extracellular fluid, so it contains calcium, and L tubules are also rich in calcium. When depolarization occur, the voltage-gated calcium channel opens and allows calcium from extracellular fluid to enter sarcoplasm. This intracellular calcium activates the voltage-gated calcium channel in terminal cisterns of L tubules, so there is increase in calcium concentration in sarcoplasm. These calcium then bind to troponin C and starts the process of excitation contraction coupling and causes myocardial contraction. After the contraction, the sarcoplasm calcium is taken back in L tubules via the ATP-mediated calcium pump. And the sarcoplasm calcium is also transported to extracellular fluid mainly via sodium calcium exchanger. This is normal molecular basis of myocardial contraction. Let's see what happens when digoxin is administered. Digoxin selectively binds to the extracellular part of the sodium potassium AT pace pump and inhibits it. This inhibition causes sodium to accumulate in the sarcoplasm. This increases the intracellular sodium ions. So now, both extracellular and intracellular fluid has similar sodium concentration. So sodium calcium exchanger is indirectly blocked, so the calcium ion cannot be expelled out. Sarcoplasm calcium ions concentration increases which in turn is pumped into the L tubule via the ATP mediated calcium pump. So calcium storage increases in the L tubule. So, during subsequent depolarization more calcium is released from the L tubule into sarcoplasm. More calcium means increased contractility. 
This is how digoxin causes positive ionotropic effect. Now, let's see how digoxin decreases the heart rate. Digoxin has vagomimetic effects on the AV node. It stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system and slows electrical conduction in the atrioventricular node, thus decreases the heart rate. So, the uses of digoxin are As it increases the force of contraction. It is used in heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. As digoxin decreases the heart rate, it is used as second-line drug to treat atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. Digoxin is to be used cautiously, as it has narrow therapeutic index. So, we finish our video here. Hope it was useful. See you soon in the next video.